I really wish the older generation would stop spinning this narrative that as you get older, life only gets worse. Like, why does so much of the older generation try to push that narrative onto the younger adults? Like, oh, enjoy your youth now, because once it's gone, you know, adulthood is just stressful, and it's just this, and it's just that. Why can't I be 30, 40, 50, and still happy, and still be feel youthful, and live a good life, and it still be dreamlike? Why does so much of the older generation push that miserableness onto younger adults? Because you're naive. You're naive, you're young, you're attractive, and you think that your life is going to always be like that, and it's just not reality. Instead of taking offense to these older people trying to give you advice, take it, apply what you need, and store it in that memory bank so you know. And always remember that uh, the reason why people tell you things like that is because they actually care. You need to be worrying about the people that are not telling you the truth, that are just letting you think whatever. Because odds are these people that are telling you this are very, very close to you. I don't see your little friends that are the same age telling you this. They're telling you the complete opposite. Just because you're 40 and miserable does not mean I'm going to be 40 and miserable. I'm going to be 40, 50, 60 and still happy and still living life and still making memories and still being free and all this good stuff. Like why... Does so much of the older generation spin this narrative that things only get worse as you get into adulthood? Could it be because they've been there and they've done that? Could it be because they had the same mindset as you? And when somebody came to talk to them and tried to tell them, they didn't listen? I'll give you a perfect example of that. I never will forget when I was in uh, middle school. It was called junior high school back then. I was in the seventh grade. And in the seventh grade is when men kind of start, you know, really liking girls and stuff like that. And you want to try to look older. And I remember I went in the bathroom and I took my mom's mascara and I, you know, painted over my mustache and my little bitty fuzz that I had here. Right. And later that day, my grandfather came to pick me up to take me with him for the weekend. And the first thing he said to me is, boy, what is that on your face? I said, what? What you mean? What is that on your face? You ain't ready for that yet. I said, what you mean? I'm, what you mean I'm not ready for that? I have a girlfriend. You're not ready to be an adult. Stop trying to force it. Stop trying to rush in it. Because you're going to get to be an adult, and all you're going to think about is how you wish you could go back in time and do things differently. How you're going to wish that you would have just slowed things down. Because when you're a child and you're a kid, you don't have any worries. But when you're an adult, you do. And I remember distinctly sitting there saying, what is this old man talking about? Why is he telling me that? But I always remembered him telling me that. And I remember a few years after that, when I, you know, I think, I, matter of fact, I think I was like 20. That really started to register uh, to me what he said. And as I got older, I remember, this is a, another example. I remember when I was 21 years old, I went to a club and I remember talking to a whole bunch of guys and we were all talking about how we uh, uh, would inflate our age or we would decrease our age. And we were talking about how the older we get, we're going to decrease it. And the younger we are, we want to increase it. And when I got to be about 30, I started remembering my grandfather in my head even more. And I'm like, man, I was 21 once. I was 18 once. Now I'm 30. Now life is different. So stop trying to get mad because these people are telling you this. They're telling you this because they have that experience and they've lived it. Make sure that you take every single day slowly. Soak everything up. Because as time passes, your world changes. Your life changes. People around you change. People might fall off. People might pass away. Things change. That is why these people are telling you that. It would behoove you to actually listen and stop acting like a kind of stuck-up, conceited girl because you're attractive. No, that won't be my life. Okay, Keep your negativity to yourself because I will be... 30 and living a dream, 40 and living a dream because that is the life I will create for myself. You may have hard days as you get into adulthood, but that does not mean you're going to have a hard life. And I wish older people would stop 
spreading their miserableness onto the younger generation that, you know, as you get older, life only becomes more difficult and unbearable. That's just not true. How do you know it's not true when you haven't gotten older, when you don't have that experience, when you don't have that hindsight? There's a thing that we adults say, hindsight is 2020. That's after the fact. And unfortunately, if you keep thinking with that mindset, you're going to have a lot of it because you don't know what you're talking about. And these people are trying to help you to focus on things that are the most important in your life that will bring you the most value. But if you're just out there wasting all your time because you think life is going to be a party, you think that you're going to be pretty forever, you think that men are going to constantly be lined up to mess with you, it's not reality. You're going to get grays. You're going to gain weight. You're going to get wrinkles. You're going to have friends fall off. It's inevitable. That's life. So don't try to speak on something that you have no idea about and respect the fact that people are, are good enough to even tell you that. Because people that don't care about you won't tell you anything. They just don't care. So keep that negativity over there because I will be 40, 50, 60 and still living my best life. And again, you have no idea what you're talking about. If you're smart, you listen to those people and you respect them for telling you that. Instead of just thinking it, thinking about it like, oh, they're just telling me what to do. Because that is, you know, kind of the mindset when you're young. You hate people telling you what to do. That starts, what, 12, 13, on up? You think you know everything and you don't want people telling you what to do. How many times have you told your parents or whoever your caregivers were, I'm old enough to make my own decisions? How many times have you said that? Why are you treating me like a child? Right? Because when you get to a certain age, you think you know everything. And especially when you get 20, 21, and you're out there in the clubs and you're doing, you think you know everything. You think you invented it. You think you invented all the games and everything else. Those people are trying to save you misery. They're trying to save you time. And they're trying to save your soul. That's all I have to say about this video, guys. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Maybe you got some you know, uh, young, young kids out there. When I say young, I mean 20, 21, 18, all that type of stuff. Cause you know, that's where this mentality is coming from. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Make sure to, to like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you're on TikTok, make sure to show me some love over there and give me a follow. I really would appreciate it. And as always have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. May the force be with you.